stop retrenchments and fix the economy now. These are the demands from the ANC's alliance partners, led by Trade Union Federation COSATU, which is marching throughout the country today. ANC's Governor Whittles is in Johannesburg, where marchers have handed over a memorandum of their demands to the office of uh, the Premier. He's joining us now live for the latest from the streets of Johannesburg. Good afternoon, Govan. Tell us what's happening there as you uh, join those marchers down one of the streets of Joburg. Good afternoon, brethren. Yes, we're coming to you live from the city centre from in the city centre. We're walking out of the town right now, headed to, headed to the Chamber of Mines where we will be handing over a memorandum. These are Kosato unions. Uh, with me, I have the provincial treasurer of Kosato in Gauteng, Ms. Murikeng. Can you just summarise what the demands are that uh, Kosato has uh, submitted to the Premier's office? Thank you. Uh, the, the demands were that the so on social economic development, we are seeing challenges, butchering of collective bargaining in both the public sector and the private sector. But then it goes further than that to private sector where the mining sector is now challenged with collective bargaining also where the employer wants to divide the mines to negotiate um, individually, not as a collective as they used to. Ma'am, you, you've led a march like this as Kasatu on a number of occasions. Are these kind of marches effective in getting what you want? Yes, they are. Because if it was not because of this kind of marches, we would not take you off a minimum wage that we have achieved. We would not talk of many benefits and protection of workers, including in the challenges they are faced with in this COVID-19 pandemic, where they achieved also to get the 352 um, people who are not working, but also the result on the post-protest here in Houghton province and things that All right, th thank you so much. I'll have to leave it there. I have another guest that we're planning to speak to, but then uh, he is the provincial secretary for the ANC in Houghton. His name is Mr. Jacob Kawe. Mr. Kawe, thank you for your time. You heard from Kosatu saying that they can uh, they can assure you that they'll vote ANC, yes. but you said you want to get closer to them as Kosatu because you recognize there is some distance. How do you feel about the relationship between the workers and the ANC right now? The workers struggle, and the intentions of the ANC to improve service delivery, they are intertwined. We are here to support them on a call for a collective bargaining that is respected by all. For the ANC, if that collective bargaining doesn't work, it creates a problem for an institution we've created to resolve workers' issues. So we are happy to be here, and we're also happy that COSAPI has declared support to the ANC, and we are also declaring support because the ANC has acknowledged that for a long time the things that we have not been doing right, and one of those is work very closely with the workers, and workers led by COSATU in particular. So if if, if COSATU workers don't show up uh, to vote on election day, there would be a significant impact. Is that a concern for you as the Gauteng ANC at the moment? Yes, it is a concern. Uh, we can't carry democracy, win elections without the workers. The workers, the youth, the women have been the pillar of the ANC's success in elections. And therefore, we're urging all workers to do, come to ele ele Elections Day and vote the ANC. All right, thank you so much. That's Mr. Jacob Kawe, the Secretary of the ANC in Gauteng. We also spoke to the Provincial Treasurer of Kosatu here in Gauteng, but then we're almost at the Chamber of Mines, about 500 meters away, and there we're expecting to hear from the National Union of Mine Workers, which recently went into a sort of a coalition with AMCU and Solidarity, hoping to restore collective bargaining, particularly in the gold sector, where unions have been bargaining directly with employers um, in the last financial year. So for now, it's back to you, but we'll be joining you again as we approach the Chamber of Mines. Okay, thank you very much, Govan Whittles. That march, as he says, getting closer to the offices of the former Chamber of Mines, now known as the Minerals Council of South Africa. Also, the marchers, they are planning to hand over a memorandum and hear from one of the affiliates of COSATU, the National Union of Mine Workers. Thank you very much, Govan Whittles. We'll have to leave it there uh, for now. That's uh, Govan Whittles there on the streets, together with some uh, leaders of COSATU and, of course, ANC there marching. Now.